Okay, so according to EA, according to EA, 47% of the games were bought digitally. As you all know, EA is one of the most hated companies in the world, and the reason why the digital weight is going higher is still probably because people that want to buy it don't want to have to download the games because Xbox and Sony, but Nintendo, you can buy physical games and you don't have to download your stupid games. But Xbox and PlayStation, that is impossible for them. I bet, I bet this is the reason why more people are going digital. Because this is the thing I don't understand why they did this. Why do I have to download a game when I get a physical release? Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're for digital or you're not for digital. And of course, people say that, oh, retail games will go away, but they say the same thing about CDs and DVDs, and there are people, um, if they're still around today, I don't see physical games, especially if Nintendo, especially if Nintendo still supports physical games, physical games, the stop of it, that the publishers to decide to place digital software world in physical, but they could not do it at any time, but they'll have to allow well, retailers to uh, take a much more margin on console sales that's another problem because Amazon makes a lot of money off of physical games you don't understand how much money places like Amazon Best Buy especially Best Buy and other websites of course GameStop's dying but you got those other options people saying that the physical gaming market's dying because GameStop is dying well first of all GameStop is crappy to begin with they have crappy customer service they cheat working at GameStop is absolute hell and from what I heard and then GameStop is basically does not know how to adapt to the online market you could just easily just buy your Xbox and PS4 retail games on Best Buy's website and Amazon. You don't have to go to stupid GameStop. And also, Best Buy also has their own stores. They can get video games easily at much more popular stores like Walmart and Target. That's why GameStop is dying because there's so many other places you can get games at. There's also a lot of indie stores. But first, and now let's get to EA. EA is a crappy company. We all know that. They make really crappy games. They're, they're greedy. They're awful. We all know that. I think the reason for the drop of physical sales is because of Battlefield 5. Okay, Battlefield 5, most of the real gamers who buy go out and buy physical games like me, I'm not going to buy a game. Okay, that's why more people bought the games digitally. Okay, nobody wants Battlefield 5 except for... The people who subscribe to EA Origin or whatever that crap is. And that's the only people who bought Battlefield digitally. They bought it uh, on EA Origin. On the X uh, especially on the Xbox One. They're on both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. But half of those digital sales are from EA Origin alone. Which is on Xbox, I think, exclusively. I don't know if they put it on PlayStation. Um, There's like the... you ha Like... They give you, like, the game was, like, $20 on EA Origin, but nobody really knows about that. But the game is all, they get, like, they discount every one of the games on EA Origin. It's always cheaper on EA Origin, but you have to pay, like, a monthly fee for it. It's, like, absolutely stupid. EA just wants your money. But, of course, any game with a, with a, with a, until IQ of over 90 knows that EA is evil, greedy, and... All they have now is just crappy sports games, okay? That's the only thing that gives them money, and that's how it is. All, and it's only EA. Let's look at Spider-Man for the PS4. I have two, but it's funny people say that physical games are dying, but when Smash Brothers sold like 10, 9 million units in four weeks... You're telling me that physical games are dying, but then you have Smash Brothers and Spider-Man... Smash Brothers selling literally 9 million units in just for a month. It just took a month for Smash Ultimate to sell nearly 9 million copies. Or we have Spider-Man, the new one, the new game, Spider-Man, sell eight, 9 million copies as well. Nearly 9 million copies within 5 months. And Spider-Man was not as hyped as Smash Bros.
Smash Bros. is much bigger than Spider-Man. Everybody was excited for Smash Bros. Your ma, you, your grandma, your mom, your dog. Everybody and the dog bought Smash Bros. Ultimate. That, that's just a given, okay? Then we have Red Dead Redemption 2, which sold like 18 million copies retail. People say that, oh, it's digital. People go, we could buy digital. Well, of course, if you play on PC, but people on consoles are going to always buy physical games. It's just, especially on Nintendo. Nintendo fans don't want digital games that much. That's why Nintendo games don't really sell well digitally. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe only sold 2 million copies digitally compared to 14 million copies retail. And, and of course, FIFA 19 is selling worse, but we all know why FIFA 19 is selling worse than FIFA 18. They're the same exact game, same exact coat of paint, that's all it is. Same thing in Madden 19, it's the same game, same exact coat of paint, that's all it is. Or that's the fact that 2 million people bought a freaking download code from Fortnite GL for some reason. Or how they like to use flops like Fallout 76 as an example of why retail is declining. If nobody wants a game, no, it, uh, it doesn't matter retail or digital, no one's going to buy it. That's what Fallout 76 is. It's probably not even selling at all if I go to my store. Like tomorrow for something, if I, ever, if I do go to my store. No one's going to be buying it because no one wants the game. Unfortunately, I actually have the game, but... I got bored. The game is just boring. That's all it is. Fallout 76 is boring, but EA, according to EA, physical is being eliminated. But here's the thing: Battlefield 5 was a disappointment for EA. That's all I have to say. No one wants EA's garbage anymore. Anthem is likely gonna flop as well. Considering we all know it's EA again. EA, EA just absolutely. No one likes EA. That's the end of bottom line. EA, they kind of deserve this. Less people buying their games. Because digital retail ratio doesn't really matter. Less people are buying your games. Okay. Less people are buying Battlefield 5 over ba under Battlefield 1. Even Battlefront 2 is selling better than Battlefield 5. That's how bad Battlefield 5 is selling. Okay, when one of your least favorite, when one of the most hated games made by you is selling better than Battlefield 5, you got a rude awakening for you. And half the copies that were sold on physical, we all know, were $40 copies. Because no one wants Battlefield 5. And digital, they offered the game for like $10 to $20. I don't remember if they did, but they probably did because. No one was probably buying it down too until they just discounted it to like forty dollars, just to make people even buy Battlefield Five. So EA, no one cares about you. Your stock is still going down. Okay, your games just absolutely sink. All you do is just muck money out of people, and I'm just glad that people are buying your games less. FIFA's declining, Madden's declining, NHL. 19 and hopefully EA in the future will not have a monopoly over sports games Even though all EA does is make the same exact game as last year with a different coat of paint That's all EA does. Goodbye